Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. Hello everybody, Matthew Hines here. I just wanted to give you an update on how crazy this coronavirus fiasco has gotten. While in Costco today with my wife, I was assaulted by a cop, by a guy who came up and identified himself as a first responder, came up out of nowhere and started calling me an asshole in front of my wife. So I just want you to take a listen because this has gotten too crazy and this has got to stop. What's your name? My name is John. And you, what did you call me, John? I called you an asshole. And where do not... you work? Where do I work? Yeah. I'm a first responder. First responder? Are yeah. you calling me an asshole? Because you're not wearing your mask in a required store. Okay, and you even know me? I'm running for the state, co or for the U.S. Congress, and you're okay. calling me an asshole? Sweet. Okay, buddy, we've got you. you. Now, if you think that this coronavirus hoax has gone on far enough, I ask you, vote for me in August, in November, in Washington State's first congressional district. This has to stop. These people have got to be held accountable. There are a lot of stupid people out there that are just taking this way too far and overstepping their authority. But when they start threatening families and stores, it's enough is enough. Congressman Susan Del Bendy has been in office since 2012, using her substantial financial resources thanks to Microsoft and her $84 million fortune, she has been able to continually maintain an office where people still have little idea what she's done. Well, she's learned to dance around and she's learned to do all the political maneuvers you have to do to keep getting reelected. Well, Susan Del Benny, it's time for you to go. Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath and I'm here to defend my state.